Joining me now from Southern California, one of those Americans, journalist with PJ Media, host of the Adult in the Room podcast, and Daily Ledger contributor, Victoria Taft. Victoria, Riverside County, 180 dead from the Wuhan coronavirus. That's probably an inflated number. The county population is 2.5 million people. That means the odds of dying, I've run the numbers, are point zero zero. 007. Those are the odds of dying from the Wuhan coronavirus. But what's more important is what the sheriff is saying. They are obliterating constitutional rights in California, and he's not going to play along with it. Uh, he has been a champion for the most part during this entire Wuhan virus uh, shutdown. And so he's been a breath of fresh air. The man is a shall issue sheriff. And he's also, however, pointed up the fact that he has been forced into uh, going after people for not wearing masks and then attempted to tell them, but don't worry, I'm not really going to arrest you. That fell flat. I criticized him for that. Uh, but nevertheless, he is a bright, shining light in a very dark state of California. Well, yeah, and this whole mask thing, I, you know, I argue about this. Number one, it, it does nothing to stop the spread. Number two, it can actually make you sick. Number three, we have this crazy thing called the First Amendment. Uh, and, and to me, a mask is a muzzle, and it does muzzle your First Amendment rights. But when you step back and you look at the big picture in the state in which you reside, California, uh, you wrote about this. You're all hostages right now. You're hostages to a tyrant. And let me give an example. On Monday, Gavin Newsom comes out, and he says, you know what? I'm going to think about relaxing. I'm going to think about giving you your constitutional rights back, but I'm not going to tell you about it till later in the week. I think he said Thursday or Friday. Doesn't matter. He could have said to people right then. Instead, he's playing a political game. He's trying to drag this out as long as possible. You are being held hostage. Well, we are. And uh, we are being held hostage to his uh, petulance. For example, he decided that he was going to make an announcement shutting down all of uh, California's beaches. He leaked a memo to everyone. And then he just shut down Orange County beaches due to the fact that some fake news had gotten out there saying and showing on a very compressed image that there were a lot more people on Newport Beach than any other uh, than uh, than we expected them to, to be. And in fact, that's what the folks said. The police chief, lifeguards, mayor all said, it wasn't that compressed. What are you looking at? He got hoodwinked by fake news. So therefore, all of Orange County had to pay for the fact that he's an ignoramus. And this has happened over and over and over again. He also talked about yesterday in his update that he doesn't want another second wave of infection to go on and so wants to do everything he can to stop it. There's nothing he can do to stop it. Who is he? God? No. We all know that there's going to be another wave of coronavirus. We know that. So all our deal was, Graham, was that we were going to hunker down until such time that we'd flattened the curve and didn't overwhelm the healthcare system. What he has then gone on to do is to change the goalposts. Yeah. That's exactly what he's doing, moving the goalposts right. all the way down the coast of California. And by the way, he keeps talking about testing now, testing, testing, testing. He's testing more. Of course, he's going to find more. If we tested for the seasonal flu every year, we would find a heck of a lot more cases of the seasonal flu, and that's moving the goalposts too. Well, we still have a lot of positive cases out there. That's because you're looking for them, Governor. But the bottom line is in Orange County, I only have about 10 seconds left, Vicki. It still is, it's not a huge bastion, but it still is a Republican bastion in California, and I believe that's why he targeted. You agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was politically motivated. Yeah, it's all total political payback. Vicki, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.